Tatiana earlier against a Vladimir. On the other hand, I also want to point out the Gragas, the Jacks, as well as the Zaya. Uh, for Weibo Gaming, they have more of a standard composition that they're building up right now with the support uh, on the Gragas as well as possibly the Baron laner uh, on that Jax. Probably a very good front to back as well as a possible split pusher on that Jax. Cassidy. Lucian, Oriana taken away. Zeri is not going to be removed, so that's an option here for Barry. But let's see what champion they are actually going to be using here. Looks like they are leaving the ADC as their last pick and wants to see the full hand of Wave yeah. Gaming first. Yeah, uh, it's going to be the last pick. Marksman, they did prioritize the uh, DJs and another uh, oh? jungler that we do see. Uh, we don't see often. Fiddle 6 being picked up right here by Weibo Gaming. Possibly the Yasuo has a pretty decent setup. Has the Gragas already on the team. Has a bit of that knock up. We'll see if they'll be locking it in. They can also pick... Huh. I'm trying to also think of maybe something else they could pick. But yeah, Yasuo is the one they blocked in. Yeah, we saw a build of Yasuo by... By... Uh, by J-Team a while ago. By Soldier. Divine Sunderer, Wits, and can actually be useful in this game against JDG. As long as you withstand the burst of JDG, you're gonna outlast them. Ezreal gets picked up as last year for JDG, for Barry. I mean, it's safe, it has poke. Still, I'm loving the draft of both of these teams. They're equally as deadly and relatively high scaling for the late game as well. But the team fighting here of Weibo Gaming is definitely so scary too. Fiddlesticks? Yeah. I guess? Yasuo? Ooh. I I kind of, uh, just basing on the two compositions, I was trying to think of maybe a different marksman for the side of, of uh, Jingdong Gaming. Uh, Ezreal makes them more of a poke composition. So what we can expect is some poke coming out from the Jace as well as the Ezreal before the full committal uh, of fight from the Camille, the Galio as well as the Vladimir. So maybe that is what we're going to be seeing for the side of Jingdong Gaming. While for Weibo Gaming, they have a more... Uh, I would do Wombo combo combination. They really need to make use a lot of vision to be able to fully utilize this fiddle sticks. And also this Yasuo doesn't have as much knockups that he could rely on. He'll probably mostly rely on his own as well as a bit from the oh, body yeah. slams from the Gragas. It's uh kind of different from the match of J Team against Wuhu Gaming because they had the Vi as their jungler at the time. But yeah. still with the build that we have seen during that game, possibly can be useful here for Faye. So let's see what's he, what he is going to be building later on. And says, kind of, in a sense, JDG has a lot of poke, like what you mentioned earlier, but also has so much burst, especially yeah. when they get their item. The Weibo Gaming needs to really watch this on. Yeah, and so far standard lanes from both of these teams. No, none of this lane swap shenanigans that we have been seeing more often uh, in the league when they don't want to have those like losing matchups for their Baron laners. And now looking at this early game, seems like to also be a very standard start right now for both of these teams. With the J starting the blue buff, do expect he'll try to put a bit more pressure in the top side when he is able to clear his jungle. Lemon. The end. Poking out Lemon actually is doing a really good job. Tactical the will equalize the health bars there. Both Lemon and Zihan. And we see Burst Fire as Barry picked 30 a while ago and made tremendous damage per minute actually in that last game. Yeah, 1351 damage. Yeah, a lot of damage from that Zeri. Uh, but also, I was Grass actually questioning what. Grass of the end. Okay, so we might be seeing that Bruiser, uh, Bruiser build. Yasuo again, Divine Thunder. Uh, build as well as I think uh, Wits N yeah Wits N uh, not as much magic damage on the side uh, of JDG so might not be Ooh. it Barry wow immediate flash in by Kratos he really wants the head of Barry right there unable to get it but that was a good try yeah so far in the past uh, the past couple of games that we've been seeing between these two teams Kratos and Gekian have been getting the better of these trades against Barry and Max and even though Barry and Max did not recall in this uh, in this instance, still the health advantage right now definitely on the side of Weibo Gaming's bot lane. Maybe later on they can send out Fan as well to help out, right? Because it's about to reach level 5. Once it's on the other side, clearing out the couple, able to reach level 5 as well. We'll be helping out possibly Lemon. Go in the reset, try to catch 
Pan as well going towards bottom lane. But he's also playing mind games right now. Sitting in the top lane, waiting for a moment to actually debate out Lemon. Yeah, we'll see if Lemon... Oh, actually! Ooh, he actually goes go in. in! Yeah, great damage. Flash out by Lemon, though, is able to hide behind the tower. That's so much resources used already by Weibo Gaming. They're able to flash in a big wave to the tower. Yeah, and also fortunate for them, there's no jungler for side of J uh, Jingdong Gaming in the top side of the map. So they were free to make that dive with no punch. But once right now, going to the dive. Oh, immediate flash. Oh, and wow. They get the Zaya. Jigen as well going to be in trouble. Ticking time bomb. Max is just going to be getting the kill test. Thank you to once yeah. and very. They can also get a plate here in the bottom lane. Perfectly timed gap, man. Yeah, perfectly timed. Perfectly well. Uh, and also very... Well executed right there by Max positioning himself in the middle of the two players going into the replay right here. You're gonna see once was it really spotted until he gets into the bush. But look at where he positioned himself for the taunt to get the maximum amount of AoE alongside once. Really catching out Bogekian right there and as I just you know, uh the the carries weren't able to get the kill, so those are some of the gifts that support mm. sometimes gets in these games. I mean he even blocked the body slam of Bogekian as he moved forward. Allowing ones to not get hit at all. That's how clean it was. Yeah, definitely, definitely clean play so far in the early game for Jingdong Gaming. They were able to catch back up the bot lane who were in a bit of a disadvantage because they needed to back off in the fight. And Zihan right here maybe getting caught out. Oh no, round two. But this time Zihan is trapped. Counter Strike gonna be used to try in this way. The flash was well invested. Uh. But Lemon Gahar has this. Oh, oh, actually no. What? Who, okay, I'm not sure. The power uh, why? of grass. <laughs> the power of grass, I guess. Yeah, they didn't have as much damage as I thought uh, for the side of the of the Camille. But yeah, good on the good on the Jacks to survive. But still, good gank from JD Gaming. They are dictating right now the pace of this early game, which is not something we've seen in the past two games. Or in Weibo Gaming, has been the one who has who has been dictating the early stages of the game. So. We'll see if Jingdong Gaming, uh, so far today, it's only been Blacklist who so is able to to stop the trend of mm -hmm. always winning on blue side. We're able to win on red side. JD Gaming so far with this uh, with this good early game against Weibo Gaming, they are building themselves up to also be in the same position as Blacklist. But the fan is in the vicinity. Once more, so storm denied. Mm. That was a perfectly timed Stars Orb right there. Or a vision plant, as we may say yeah. it. And JDG completely negated that gap. And since there's no Crow Storm, no one's gonna be there to actually contest him on this RH. Yeah. Uh, th that's why I was like, thinking, why did Fan. Fan didn't need to do that. Right, he didn't need to go for the gang on the top side because it would open up so much opportunity in these objectives. And also, the target he was going for was the Vladimir. You can just press one button and get out, uh, get out of that fight. Uh, it it was a weird decision right there from Fan. Maybe if they chose the the dual lane, but again, another fight right here, the dragon. Jikian immediately gets popped off. Last breath gonna be used here by Faye to try and deal the damage here. But again, this is a different build of the Yasuo. Now he needs to be very careful, very. Going in with Ark and Shift, Exicles and Medium here on the fan. Gets absolutely obliterated as well. Double objective for JDG. We see Kratos as well just flashing out just to stay alive. And JDG becoming so clean here on this red side. Yeah, uh, JDG right now with a commanding lead. And before we talk about that, let's go to the replay right here with Je Gekian. Does get caught out by the members of JD Gaming. Last breath was used by Faye, but unfortunately doesn't have the item set. And even and actually he might not even have the item to burst anyone down. And at this point in time, Wave Game just needs to get away from here because they are in a huge man disadvantage. And JDG knows very well that they have a lot of the advantage. They just keep going for the fight and even eventually gets that dragon going back into live there is a 3k gold read right now for jd gaming and this is just gonna be something that he can snowball off of if weibo gaming cannot mm -hmm. stop the bleeding oh yeah they're definitely bleeding right now and jd is loving every single second of this fan goes for round two but again this is still equally as risky I think JDG has an inkling that he might actually be there since they have spotted out Zeke as well. Going towards stop side. He's sticking, committing. He'll get spotted out eventually. And JDG will be fine here with the king. Yeah. 
uh, JDG right now just needs to, uh, I, I guess, just they just need to wait for the next objectives to pop up, right? Because they don't really need to force the fights. They have the advantage. They also have skating on their side. They have the the Vladimir. It's actually the Wits End that has been prioritized first for the Yasuo. So a bit of that magic resist to stave off the damage from the Vladimir. But going back right now, in terms of the advantage, JD Gaming can just wait for Weibo Gaming to be a bit more aggressive because so far it's been JD Gaming that's really been punishing these teams. So Storm, Lemon, Tactical Sweep will go to the Honey Flute and survives! This guy has been avoiding so much from Weibo Gaming. Man, talk about unfortunate here for Weibo Gaming. What is gonna be here to try and maybe counter Ooh. out the engage fan? Oh my god. He took so much damage, Tactical Sweep is gonna be there as well, and the Spite will get the kill. And now Lemon committing, they dive under the tower, and Lemon is able to tank so much from that tower. Yeah, we're able to tank that, that tower. The tower dive was successful for JD Gaming. It is 6 to 0 in terms of kills 4000 gold in the lead right now is jd gaming going to this replay right here we do see one starting off this fight with just a lot of damage and fan getting immediately pop along with that ignite being casted by lemon does take him down and fortunately for lemon gets the 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 physical damage shield so he can get more he can absorb more of that tower damage giving him enough to survive and now Weibo Gaming, what are you going to do? What does Weibo Gaming need to do to stop the bleeding? And I think, and man, what they need to do right here is to try to get a big team fight where they can get a lot of value on that Crow Storm. Because so far, I feel like Fan has been using it on all of the carries that have either a really good escape ability like the Vladimir or the, the Camille who also has that long dash that she can use well, uh, to get away and if you think about it there's not a lot of other targets yeah uh, for JD Camille, Vladimir, Ezreal, Ezreal Gallo. So, oh, so it's hard man. right so I think he just needs to save it up for a big team fight because that's when that's JD Gaming is more into is gonna commit more into these fights yep they have to rely on Geek and Sip if he gets a good cast onto many people and put them in harm's way for Fate to follow up with the Lapid and then the Crew Storm and then the Counter Strike. But it's so difficult to actually execute that makes it uh, kind of unlikely to happen here. And JDG realizes that. They're fully aware that that, that is just so difficult for Weibo Gaming to actually execute or any sort of team. So just making sure they're well separated to influence every part of the map and make sure that Weibo Gaming is also scattered, in which they have been winning the short-term skirmishes as well. Bottom lane. Zian is gonna spot out once right there. Uh, it's fine. Dragon spawning up. Weibo Gaming has their eyes on it as well, but JDG, having this kind of lead, can just turn on them. Max goes in with the Justice Punch, will cast g -Kyan. And I don't think they're gonna be committing anything just yet on the support. They know their targets. Fando catching them off guard. Lemon might actually be in trouble face also. He's gonna be joining them. But they actually turn onto the asshole. Well, last one's gonna be used. But he might be in trouble. Have to flash away just to go to safety. Lemon as well not caught. Fizian! Unfortunate, but now they turn onto the dragon. Favor gonna be joining in. Transfusion here to suck out a blood here of Zihan. But now they commit onto the dragon. Let's see. Jikyan doesn't have any mana shock blast hitting, denying the crown right there of Fan, and they will just get this dragon for free. The bad thing as well is that they use a Crow Storm on just Lemon. So they didn't have damage onto the team fight. Right now, it's not gonna be used onto anyone. Bloodpool denies the damage. Fan gonna be in trouble. Good cast coming from Jikyan to at least push them back. But that was so risky again.
Blue team lost a turret. JDG just taking control of everything right now. The lead, the kills. I can't even believe Weibo Gaming hasn't secured any kills just yet here in this game. The game number one. Yeah, yeah. But this time, it's red side at winning. G Gun is tanking so much. Again, this had the warm to just heal himself back to full health. But they need to be very careful. This is Baron that we're talking about. Backline has been breached. Kratos nearly got caught there with a hook shot. But Jihan is there to actually back him up. There's a cast. Last breath on just Max? That is very questionable. JD is more than happy to have that exchange. And he has four months as well, man. He's gonna be healing back to full health. No vision. Great taunt, counter strike, not gonna do anything. Crow Storm, unfelt by the members of Jingdom Gaming, but actually now they might have felt it. They might see the damage. Faye as well going in, but once is gonna be pushing him back. Bear nearly got caught there by, by Faye though. It's gonna be able to take him down. The exchange player, Faye by, is able to escape transfusion away. Heals himself back to at least 30%. And JDG still is 4 intact here in this team and will start the Baron here. No! That was actually a great crow storm, but not enough. Oh man, this is definitely a tough game right now for Weibo Gaming. JDG taking full control of this game. They pick up the Baron, they pick up so many Dragon Stacks as well. It's not even Soul right now secured by JDG, yeah. but still, full control, full tap, full gas pedal action here by JDG. Bottom lane being pushed, mid lane being pushed. There's nothing they can do! Fake by action goes in, nearly catches Kratos. But it's fine for now. He can do he can do just that right now with uh, ultimate and the po uh, it's basically poke damage for him and bot side of Zihan almost falling down but the mid lane turret has been left by Weibo Gaming it does fall in favor of JD it's gonna be super minions barreling through the mid lane bottom lane Max goes in stasis by oh my god stick, but fan won't be able to do anything here last breath no faith giving them a chance possibly will be able to get at least one kill gets it onto the Jace now still Tempest nearly getting there onto Barry JDG still not not actually getting this tower in the bottom lane the only thing that they unlocked though is mid lane that might actually be key for them getting this this possible soul for themselves yeah, and actually JDG sticking around here they don't want Weibo Gaming to get this dragon for free they're trying to poke them away from the dragon wall waiting for their teammates to spawn but I don't think that is the best decision right here JD Gaming you stayed a bit too long in the bot lane Max going in for a fight they tried to poke they tried to chunk them down but the dragon will be denied to JDG Weibo Gaming is still alive yeah Weibo Gaming Showing signs of life right here, even though their mid lane inhibitor turret is down. We did see the potential of the Yasuo. We did, we did see him going towards it as you're chasing him down, dealing so much damage to him. But the thing is, 
he it's not enough at this point they need to have those clean engages and there was a bit of a i would say over enthusiastic fight uh coming from from jdg where they turret dove uh weibo gaming in the second tier turret in the bot lane it was a really good flank for them it felt like they were about to 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 to, to sandwich three members uh of weibo gaming but unfortunately for them more jd jd members did fall down they weren't able to finish the game yet but still most of the advantages in the map state is in the favor of Jingdong Game. Look at the gold difference over time. Wave yeah. Gaming actually slowly catching up. This might be a bad sign here for JDG, but they have the most important objective. Elder Dragon is up now. Yeah. Elder Drake fight. We're gonna see right here. Wave Gaming trying to go for a bit of this poke uh from Jingdong, but still what we need to remember is the super minions barreling through mid lane that is the clear advantage here from jdg we weibo needs to tend to that lane while they're starting off the dragon right here they're committing onto it weibo gaming sees them after they, they don't have much vision on this spot side river they're gonna be needing to go in blind pan just hiding, Jigen is the one having a bigger responsibility to actually get the vision, but JDG actually turns in. Jigen is taking too much damage, Lemon as well, gonna be helping them out. Last breath Ooh. only on the Camille. Faye though nearly gets taken up. Had to turn fusion on the Elder Dragon, but still unable to fully regenerate himself. But now, as he gets the Honey Fruit, healing himself as well through the Elder Dragon. Back to full health once oh more. God. He wants round two. Weibo Gaming doesn't. They don't have the Crow Storm anymore. Yeah, they don't have the crow storm. There's a really good use of the crow storm for fan. We we're able to, to stop the, the fight right there between JDG, but this Elder Drake fight is still ongoing here, Giyang. They commit, they commit, they want this, they want to take it now. Lemon is well interfering into the back line. Kratos is gonna be in trouble. Fayboy as well joins, gets his eye right now, has the damage, has the burst, gets a double kill, triple kill for Wayby. And now Wayby game is gonna be in trouble. Zihan tries to capitalize on this, gets a counter strike done, but Ooh. not able to get the CC chain from Fei, and they get the Penta kill! The first Penta kill in season two is Fei Bai from Jingdong Gaming, and Fei Bai popping off here in this game, and this is gonna be the victory for Jingdong Gaming. It is, and they will deny. The reverse sweep from JDG, they get the pentakill, they get the series win, and they also finally redeemed themselves after a two series loss. Yeah. Man. Yeah, Jing Dong Gaming. What a what a reverse sweep against Weibo. Game one felt like Weibo was on top. It felt like they had JDG red, but JDG showed.